Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have an interesting video using blend ranges and curves to color grade in a very interesting way. Here is a preview of what we will be doing. Looks amazing, right? So let's get started. After I delete the final image, I will duplicate the current layer two times. The idea is to separate the image in highlight and shadows using blend ranges. So the bottom one will be the highlights. To get the highlights, we open up the blend range dialog and remove the darks and gradually show the lighter areas from the source layer. For the shadows, I will do exact reverse. So keep the darks and gradually remove the lighter areas. Before moving on, I will add a fill layer below the highlights, as we now have filtered out the midtones. Let me switch to a test document so you can see what I mean. I have two gradients on top of each other and a red one at the bottom. If I apply the same blend ranges to them, you notice that indeed the midtones are in a sense filtered out and the red is shining through. This is exactly what we're going to exploit. Also interesting to know is that by adjusting the blend range position we can target different areas in the image with different strengths. For example, in this case, I'm only targeting the dark areas. Anyway, let's get back to our image. As mentioned, I will add a fill layer and set it to neutral color, like 50% gray. Let's continue by adding a curves adjustment to the shadows. I'm going to darken it quite a bit, as I want to boost up the contrast. looks already quite good. I will also add a curves adjustment to the highlights. I will take a different route here, because I want to get more golden color in the sky, I will increase the reds and decrease the blues. Awesome, looks amazing already. I feel like the sky can use a bit more contrast, so I will adjust the curves layer and lower the overall values. Now the cool trick. We can now change the color of the fill layer below to give it a tint we like. You see how nice it reacts when I change the color. You probably could have done this with a color balance. But what is extremely cool is that I can apply a gradient color below. So the sky at the top can have a different color tint than the trees and the rocks below. Let's make this more interesting. I will add a gradient map adjustment to the shadows. The color really doesn't matter. Now I change the blend mode to saturation. Look what happens, like a fairy tale. Of course this is too much, or not, depending on what you want to achieve of course. Let me lower the opacity to still have that fairy tale look but less in your face. The nice part of this technique is that if you don't like the colors or find it too much you can set the blend mode of the group to luminosity and it will apply it to the original layer. You still have an amazing end result, but without the colors. Can we apply this to portraits? Yes, we can. Let's have a look. I will speed up the process of applying this technique. It is exactly the same, however, I used a wider blend range on the two curves. Here is the end result, not bad. I can also switch to luminosity, if you think the colors are too much. When we apply the luminosity blend mode, the question is, can we recreate it in other ways? The short answer is yes. 
In this example, I needed two curves layered to get a similar effect. The advantage of this method is that it gives more room to play and experiment. Well, I hope you liked this video and thank you very much for watching.